Hi, welcome back to my channel, Heavenly Designs. Thanks for watching my videos and being a part of um, Heavenly Designs and our creations that we make. Today, I want to talk to you about making and dyeing paper. And so, let's take a look. We want to turn ordinary white paper into some coffee dyed paper. Now, I kind of like the ones that have a little bit of stain in them like this does, the little variants in color. So let's take a look at how I get that. So the first step is we need some coffee. Now I picked this coffee up at the dollar store. Um, it's a 6.5 ounce bag and it's some um, roasted ground coffee and it has a vanilla smell. So the paper kind of smells like, let's see, a little like vanilla, not much. It's not real strong, but um, has more stronger flavor, stronger scent of the coffee than of the vanilla. And so what I want to do is I want to mix this very, very strong. And so I used um, a half a cup, and I can't find my measure right now because someone ran off with it. Okay. No! So I used a half cup measure. And I used very, very hot boiling water and I mixed it together and I let it sit for a little bit. And then um, I took and strained off the grounds. As you can see here, I have a whole bowl full of the coffee grounds. These can come in handy a little bit later in adding just a little bit of texture to the paper. And we'll talk about that too in a little bit. So how do we do this? And so we've got our really, ver our very strong coffee. And we want to take our paper and place it in. So I already have a piece in here that's been sitting. And we, I like to let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. The longer you let it sit, the darker it will become. Now remember that this is paper. And so we want to be very gentle, very, very careful with it. Because it will tear very, very easy. Um, I have in the past actually let this sit overnight um, and how I do that is I put a piece in, I make sure that it's covered with the liquid and then I add another piece, cover it with the liquid and I just keep doing that and layering it and then I let it sit overnight. That gives you a nice golden color. Um, I kind of like the way that comes out. Um, so we take it out very gently and I kind of like to let it drain off just a little bit because I don't want all that extra moisture I'm going into my oven. And so I take it out. I lay it onto a pan. And I'm simply using a regular baking sheet. And um, I lay it on there. Uh-oh. It's stuck to my other. And as you can see, I am tearing it. Ah! There we go. Okay, so... I lay it on my baking sheet and then I just simply pop this into my oven. Um, you can dry this with a hair dryer. You can dry it with um, a heating tool. Be careful using those things. You can even dry it in the microwave. You can let it lay out and dry in the sun. There's multiple ways of drying it, but I like quick, fast and well, not quite the microwave age, because I don't really do mine in the microwave, but I do like it kind of quickly. So I pop this into my oven at about 200, 250 at the max, and I leave it in there for about five to 10 minutes. And I check it frequently because paper burns and I don't want to catch a fire of anything into my home. So I check it frequently to make sure that, um, it isn't burning or anything like that. And I also like to, to flip it. Now, to add some little bit of texture, this is where these wet grounds to me come in because then I can take them and just kind of pop them over my page in different places, just a little bit here or there. And now when I pop this in, I'm gonna have some darker colors in different places from where I have added these um, darker grounds, the, the coffee grounds onto the page. So into my oven it goes, and then I will come back and I will show you my result in the next. So I just simply um, put this down 
in here. You can use a brush if you don't want to get your hands dirty. You can just use whatever you have or whatever you like to just kind of get it in there so that it is soaking. Now, I will tell you that I like to have a coffee tea mixture as well. That's the other way that I like to do it. So I like to have a dark coffee, very, very dark, so very strong, very strong coffee, and then a very strong cup of tea. I mix the two together, and then I simply layer my pages in and let them sit overnight or sit for... Um, however long, how much ever time I have. Sometimes I have longer, sometimes not so much time. And um, the longer, just remember that the longer you let them sit, the darker your paper becomes. And I actually have a tin that I keep my coffee dyed papers in because I like to... Um, I like that smell of the coffee when I'm working on my projects. I'm a coffee lover. So just let it sit in there, you know, and saturate in the paper. Let it soak up and everything. And um, I'll come back in the next video and show you what happens to my coffee dyed paper. So thanks for um, being on my channel, Heavenly Designs. Um, you can find some of my creations in my Etsy shop at Heavenly Designs. And I... I appreciate you watching my how-to videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great evening.